Yo, it's me, Dead Carpet, and this is Dead Carpet Energy Drink Reviews, and it's 11.14 a.m. And it's Thursday, September 12th, 2024. Anyway, today I'm going to be reviewing another flavor of these Uptime Energy Energy Drinks. I got this at the Bucky's gas station. It's around $2 or $4. So it's okay priced. This one sounds like it might be pretty good. We shall see. Um, this is one of the Zero Sugar um, Uptime Energy Drinks. Um, they also have, like, sugared versions, but um, they don't have this flavor in the sugared version, only in the Zero Sugar. But um, anyway, today I'm going to be reviewing the Raspberry Lemon Sugar-Free Uptime Energy Energy Drink. So, oh yeah, boys, look at that can. So, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Has a silver top with a silver tab. Owns the Best Buy Dayton production code. Best Buy... It's like May or June 28th, 2026, so it's still fresh for a while. Uptime Energy Raspberry Lemon flared with other natural flavors, and it shows a gears in a person's head, a person riding in a lightning bolt. Mental Physical Energy Drink, Natural Caffeine, LT, and Zero Sugar, 12 foot ounces, 355 milliliters. Natural flavors, natural caffeine, non-GMO, zero sodium, color-free. It shows the raspberries and a lemon slice. And it shows a slice of fruit, um, some leaves, a crossover sodium, and then like a water droplet. On this side, it shows the fruit again. Find your uptime as a QR code project to their website, uptimeenergy.com, the SKU. Your uptime is now. Raspberry lemon flavored with other natural flavors. Contains no fruit juice. Nutrition facts are as one can, 350 milliliters. Members are in calories 5. Total fat 0 grams, 0 percent. Sodium 0 milligrams, 0 percent. Carbohydrates 2 grams, 1 percent. Protein 0 grams. Calcium 150 milligrams, 9 percent. Doesn't have any B vitamins or anything. And then it has other ingredients filtered carbonated water, citric acid, natural flavors, calcium citrate, natural caffeine, potassium benzoate preserve, super low sodium, I mean potassium sorbate preservative, chilling tartrate, L theanine, panic ginseng root extract, and the coenzyme Q10, which is the COQ10, which so that can help with your like focus and stuff. Shared by Uptime Energy Incorporated, Los Angeles, California, 91406 USA. Phone number is 800 441 5656. UptimeEnergy.com. Um, contains 142 milligrams of natural caffeine, has a recycling logo and some other code. This part is not intended or recommended for children or those sensitive to caffeine, pregnant or nursing women, those with a medical condition, and those taking medication. So they can, should consult a healthcare professional before use. Has a Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok logos at Uptime Energy. Sorry, I'm still a little sick. My nose is still like stuffy and runny. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much the entire can. But um, anyway, I'll let you see real quick. It has like a light pinkish color. Raspberry lemon. I actually think I may have had this flavor before. Um, when they had them in the tall skinny bottles. But then they came out with like these shorter fatter bottles. But now they also have them in these normal cans now. But um, I think I may have had this flavor before. I just, I guess, didn't review it. I thought I did. But I'm anyway. There's not a whole lot of stuff on the can. So I could read it off pretty quickly. Distributor information and stuff in the morning. Other code. Okay, that's pretty much the entire can. But I'm anyway. I'm sorry. I'm gonna. Shut off the can up closer quick, so hold on a minute. The Raspberry Lemon Sugar Free Uptime Energy Energy Drink. Silver Top Silver Tab on this Best Buy Date and Production Code. It's like June 16th or um, June 28th, 2028, I think, or 2026. And it's May 28th, 2026. Mental physical energy drink, natural caffeine, and healthy anion. Shows the raspberries and the lemon slice. Same thing on this side. It's a QR code, takes to their website, SKU. Your uptime is now. And there's nutrition facts. Other ingredients, distributor information, has 142 milligrams of caffeine. Other code. Okay, that's pretty much the entire can. Anyway, now I'm going to finish my review for it, so hold on. Okay, I shut off the can up close, but I'm anyway, now I'm going to shake it up a little bit. 
open it and taste it and give my review for it. So hold on a minute. I need to blow my nose in a minute. But I'm anyway. Yeah, the color is clear. It has no artificial colors. It's a little bit bubbly and carbonated. Almost just spilt it on me. Well, I did a little bit, but I will. Anyway, the scent. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, it definitely has like a raspberry lemon scent. Definitely like um, raspberry lemonade. I definitely smell the lemon more than the raspberry. Um, the lemon's a little bit more of like a strong, a little bit more of like a tart lemon though. Um, I don't really like lemon drinks or flavored lemon drinks, but um, yeah, I prefer like flavored lemon drinks over regular lemon drinks. But um, this though, I don't really like the earth, like the earthy type of lemons. But um, yeah, this has like that earthy, strong, a little bit like a tart lemon scent. So I'm not for sure if this one's gonna be good or not. Hopefully the raspberry will help it. Hopefully it'll make it sweeter. But um, judging by the smell though, it smells really strong. Yeah, definitely a really strong type of lemon scent. Um, but still a little bit sweet though because of that raspberry. But um, I'd probably say I'm smelling like 80% lemon, maybe like 20% raspberry. Definitely really smell the lemon, even though my nose is still pretty stuffy. Yep, definitely a really strong lemon scent. But um, anyway, now I'm gonna try it. So here goes. Yep, 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 yep. Yep. Oh yeah, boys. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Well, 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 well. When you first drink it, um... You get hit with the um, raspberry and lemon at the same time. That's pretty evenly mixed, but um, still really sweet though when you first take a sip. And then right after you swallow it, when the flavor is still in your mouth and your tongue, you get hit with that earthy type of lemon flavor. Definitely really tart and bitter, and, um, but also it had the raspberry is definitely sweet though. So mixed with the really tart lemon, it makes it not as bad, but um. Yeah, I still wish it wasn't that, like, tart, earthy type of lemon taste. Um, definitely wish it was a little bit more of, like, a mellow lemon, you know, but, um, it's actually not too bad. Um, definitely tastes better than I thought it would be, judging by the smell, you know. Um, but yeah, I'd still say it's mostly lemon, though, probably, like, 60% lemon, maybe, like, 40% raspberry in the flavor-wise. Um, definitely notice the raspberry more in the taste than in the scent. Um, but yeah, still a really strong lemon flavor, though. Um, yeah, I'm not really a big fan of lemon drinks, but, um, this one, I don't know about this one, because, yeah, it's really strong, though, but, um, I don't know, I still sort of like it, though. Especially for a zero-sugar drink. Um, this one's actually has a way more, um, flavorful flavor than the last two flavors of these up time energy drinks that I reviewed. Like the Tropical Passion Fruit one and the, um, Strawberry Dragon Fruit one. When you first take a sip of them, they sort of, like, lose the flavor right after you swallow it. They don't really have too much of an aftertaste. But this one, though, has a really noticeable aftertaste. So, yeah, this one's, like, way stronger flavor-wise compared to the last two that I reviewed. Um, but if they had, like, a sugared version, though, I'd probably like it more than this, though. But, um, for a zero sugar drink, it's actually not bad, though. It's not too carbonated, so you can probably check it if you want to. Um, just like the last two that I reviewed, it has a little bit of like a creamy, bubbly texture when it gets on your tongue. So yeah, um, energy of wise though, would definitely be a little less 142 milligrams caffeine. It doesn't have any B vitamins or anything. That has a COQ10, so it can help with your alertness and focus and stuff too though. But still say energy wise, last about three hours to about four and a half hours of energy. So oh yeah, boys, it's still definitely getting pretty lit. So oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Energy wise, it works pretty good. That's cool. Candle size, okay. Price around two for four dollars at Bucky's. Um, the raspberry is definitely a sweet raspberry, like a candy raspberry. 
that mix with that tart, bitter, earthy lemon though. Um, it makes it not as bad as it probably would be, but um, so wish it was more of like a mellow lemon though, but it's still pretty good though. Um, it's not evenly mixed, definitely notice the lemon more than the raspberry, but um, it's still um, not too bad though. Um, I don't know, I think I like the Tropical Passion Fruit, one of the best of the last two that I reviewed. Um, and then I would probably like this one, and then the, um, Strawberry Dragon Fruit one. I think I like this one about the same as the Strawberry Dragon Fruit one. Um, it's not as bad as I thought it would be, but, um, it still could be a little bit better. But for a zero sugar raspberry lemon drink, this is actually pretty good. Especially drinking the ice cold on a hot day, you know. Very refreshing. But yeah, I'd probably give the Raspberry Lemon Uptime Energy Energy Drink. You know what, boys, you know, I'm still going to give it a 9 out of 10. So, oh, yeah, boys, still lit. So, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. Oh, yeah. Has a cool can design. Pretty simple. Um, it's okay price. Your enjoy it. works pretty good. Um, doesn't have any B vitamins or anything, though. Um, Flavor-wise, it's definitely um, probably the most flavorful uptime drink that I had within the last three days. Well, at least the last two ones that I reviewed. Um, this one has the most noticeable flavor. Um, the other two, like, sort of lost the flavor before the aftertaste. This one definitely has more of a flavorful flavor, you know. Um, so yeah, it's still pretty good. Definitely trying to give it a 9 out of 10. Anyway, my next review, I'm going to be reviewing the Sweet Melon one of these. Stay tuned for that review. Stay tuned for that review. Stay tuned for watching. See you guys later. Peace out. And bye.